Hey y'all, Miss Cobb here. I just want to uh, make a video to let you know about the digital classroom tour, what to do if you miss a class or if you ever need some directions, this is the place to come. So this is the very first page that you will come to when you click on me, the B. This is the very, very first page of the library's My Digital Classroom. So when you come from your teacher's digital textbook and you click on me, this is the first thing you'll see. From um, the very first Zooms that we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to, um, one, find me in your teacher's digital textbook. Um, so if you miss those, um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you'll be able to figure it out. Um, your, your teachers are doing a great job of showing you how to get to us. Uh, but um, if you have any questions, you can always email me. But this is the first page you're going to come to, and I'm going to um, show you where everything is and give you a tour. This is your first page, and uh, let's. this is where you're going to start. So let's say you oversleep or you miss a class or something happens. You will click on a clock. Uh, that is your grade. So if you miss your third grade Zoom time, you can click on your clock and all of the Zooms or all of the lessons will be in a nice playlist and they'll be labeled one, two, three, four, five. And so if you're like, mm, I missed number two or I missed number three or I missed number four, they'll all be right there. Um, the very, very first one will be this digital classroom tour that I am recording right now. So, if you are confused, if you are lost, if you get into the rest of the Google Classroom or my digital classroom and you're like clicking on things and you're like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Almost every single page will get you back here. You click on this clock, you watch the video, it will explain all the things for you, okay? Clock, video, it will explain all the things and you should hopefully then understand where to go in my digital classroom from there. So, but we're going to click on all the, all the buttons today and show you all the icons and see what we can do to show you everything that you need to know about my class today. So lessons, tours, anytime you need direction, you click on this clock. Got it. And if you're in kindergarten, are you going to click on my third grade clock? No, that doesn't make sense. If you're in fifth grade, are you going to click on the first grade clock? No, that doesn't make sense either. So kindergarten, kindergarten clock. Third grade, third grade clock. Make sense? Makes sense. Okay. So obviously we can't click on the third grade clock right now because I'm making the video. But we could click on the second grade clock because I already made their video. And it's going to take them right here to there and they can go ahead and watch their video. And then once it navigates them somewhere else, right? All you have to do is hit the X button and bring you right back. There we go. So you have options from this page. Let's go right to your classroom, right? Let's go right to three to your class. Yay, we made it to your classroom. So this is the third grade classroom in the library. Every single thing in this classroom has something for you to click on. Every single thing. Okay? Ready? Click on it. 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 Every single thing has something for you to click on. Okay? All the things in the shelf, Brain Pop Jr., NC Kids. This is our school, Destiny Discover, which is how you search for books in the library. Chatham Community or Chatham County Public Library. These are all things that you're going to need passwords for. And that is why I gave you a B with a key. The key will unlock all the things for you. Ready? B with the key. Unlock. There we go. Here are all the passwords for all those things in the shelves. Yes. Brain pop. All the things in the shelves. 
Bookflix. I didn't actually give you guys access to Bookflix because it's really for younger kids. Uh, our Destiny Discover. You're going to need your login for your email and then your password. Uh, NC Kids Digital Library, the public library, you're going to need your power school number and your PIN is the last four, last four digits of your power school number. Okay. If any of these get confusing, we haven't really used these things before. And throughout the school year, I'm going to show you how to use these things. Brain pop, I think you guys will be able to figure it out. And I think your, um, your teachers will show you how to do it. But, um, oh my gosh, we got here. Now, how do, how do we get back to your classroom? How do we get back to the three? Huh? Huh? Hmm. Let's see. Down here, these icons, question mark, mailbox, me carrying all the books. These are going to be on every single page, every single page, okay? So if you're helping a younger sibling or if you just go to the wrong page, these will do the exact same thing on every single page, okay? So let's go ahead and click on the question mark and see what happens, yeah? Yeah. Oh, question mark takes us back to the very first page. Got it? So you can go back to three. Let's click on four and pretend we're fourth graders for a minute instead of third graders. Four. There you go. For the very beginning, fourth grade looks a lot like third grade, right? They have a B with the key. They have the same shelf, a lot of the same things. Got it? Okay. But look, same three icons at the very bottom. Same three icons. This one's going to take us back to the first shelf. Hmm, let's see where this one takes us. Let's see, let's go ahead and click on it. Oh, it's a mailbox. It takes it to the mailbox. So look at that. Me, this is my email. So if you just click on my email right here, right? Click on my email. It's gonna automatically bring up a way for you to send me an email. One of your jobs today, we're not gonna load all this thing, okay? We don't need to load all that. One of your jobs and part of your lesson today is to click, 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 click all the things, click, 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 and then say, mm, Miss Kyle, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Way to go. Pretty good. And tell me, or Miss Kyle, this makes no sense, no sense at all. And then email me. Okay. If in the middle of class or you're doing something else or something doesn't work, this is also my Google voice number, and you can text me and say, this doesn't work. Got it? Got it. Okay. So again, look, here we go. This will take us back to that home page, right? And here's another big button. I think you guys noticed this button. What does this one do? It'll take us forward. That's right. Oh. So this page that takes us forward, this is just two steps away from um, the the clocks where we were, okay? If we had gone arrow, arrow from the clocks, it would have brought us here. So this page is really just going to give us extra things. I did not have room in all of the third grade to add some of these things and some links and other things. I did not have all the room. So there are going to be extra links here and extra things, okay? So come back here if you want to. You don't need to, you don't need to, but it's always a way to get, if you're like, I have clicked on all of the things, Miss Cobb. Come back here, there are more things to click on. I really wanted this to be as interactive as possible and to give you as many things to click on as possible. But I did not have space to put everything in our third grade room. Got it? Got it. Okay. And there will be times where I will be moving things out of your third grade room and into here. So if you're like, I really liked that. Why did she take it out of our room? It'll move here. Okay. There we go. Let's go back to third grade. So question mark takes you to clocks. Mailbox 
takes you to the mail. This, oh, we didn't discover what this one will do. This one, let's see, let's go and click on her and see what she does. She, oh, that's me carrying all the books, all the heavy books, carrying all the heavy books all the way over here to my desk. Look at that lovely bright yellow desk. That's them carrying them all the way here to my bright yellow desk, okay? So then I can click all the way back here. Let's go and get into fifth grade. So, clock, mail, go back to the desk. Your job in your very first lesson is to click on all of the things. See what they do. See where they go. See if you like them. I want you also to say, Ms. Co, I want you to add a Raina Telgemeier link. I want you to add, I don't know, a comic link so I can make my own comic. I need you to do this, okay? After you've clicked on all the things and you're like, that's pretty cool, come to the mail, click on my mail, and email me. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, Tell me what's cool, tell me what's not cool. Got it? That is your step one of what I need you to do today, okay? Step two of what I need you to do today. See this button here? I'm guessing you've seen this button before. This button right here is your Google Class button. If you are in fifth grade, you need to click this button, okay? It will click on it, your email will come up, and then there will be a button underneath it that says join class. Click join class. Yeah? Yeah. That will be your link to join my class. And then any other time I want you to do anything in Google Classroom, this will link right to Google Classroom. So cool, right? Right, okay. This button right here, this button links to just the fifth grade Flipgrid. There's one question on it right now, and the one question on it right now is, please tell me what you read or are reading. So you just click on it, and it should take you right to Flipgrid, and then you do Flipgrid. And you'll say, this is what I'm reading right now, Ms. Cobb, yeah? So if you're in fifth grade, make sure though you're right here, make sure you're in the five, before you click this, right? So here's the deal too, fourth grade. Fourth, yeah? Click the fourth grade Google Classroom. Click on it, your email will show up, it will say join class. Join the class. Join the class, go to Flipgrid. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here's the deal too, third grade, third grade, Join a Google Classroom, join class, go to Flipgrid. I'll add Flipgrids throughout the course of the nine weeks at home. I'll add things in Google Classroom, but right now, click, click, click. Do all the things, try it out, experiment, see what works, see what doesn't work. See what's fun, see what's not fun. See what links work, see what don't. And if they don't work, you need to say, Miss Cobb, this does not work. Got it? Thank you. Okay. So there you go. That's what we're doing for today. Um, and that's your tour. Thank you so much.